guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post a lot of beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video we are going to be testing all the makeup from the Makeup Obsession Count Me In calendar. I don't have the calendar to show you because I've chucked it now it's gone it's in the bin but I do have the products here so the first thing I'd like to do is I always like to do my brows before I do the, my makeup so I like to put the gel in and then when I've done my makeup then I put the color in and this is their clear brow gel it looks so nice it's in such a tiny little container and the brush is so small and I just like to brush my eyebrows up and then Wow, that worked really well. Once I, oh, I've got to put back in. Oh, wow. Now, I do have the I Heart Revolution 12 Days of Christmas um, calendar stuff in the basket, so I hope I don't get confused, because knowing me, I will. And then usually my brows never stay like this. They usually flatten themselves down a little bit, but that is what they look like. I actually quite like them, to be fair. Okay, next thing is I like to put primer on. So I do have the Beauty Blender here and we're gonna put some eye primer on with this. It did double in size and size and it's nice and soft. I'm gonna use the little mirror, but I hate little mirrors. Oh, it's not as soft as I'd like it to be. I wonder how it would do with foundation. You know now I'm I'm a sponge snob, I'm telling you, because I like soft sponges and affordable ones. And if they don't match like my Re Love sponge or the Friends sponge, then I'm like, what are you doing? Everything's on, but not my favourite. <laughs> now let's go in with the palette. This is what it looks like. It is a nice kind of neutral palette, so I don't know what I'm doing with it. But I can appreciate that there's neutrals in it, but the pans are smaller than a normal Obsession palette. I don't have one to hand because I've just put all my Obsession palettes away. I'm going to start off with this shade down here, like a transitional shade. Alright, my brush didn't pick up pigment straight away. You really have to put your brush back in there. Oh, it's a nice shade. It's lighter than I thought it would be, which is good because I actually wanted it a bit lighter than it looked. I really want to go in with that dusky rose kind of colour. And take this kind of shade here, which looks a dark brown, but I feel like there's going to be a nice little burgundy undertone. Yeah, I don't feel like it's like a real true brown shade. This shade's but a bit dusty, but that's fine. But I like that this palette has a bit of depth. Some palettes just don't. really want to go for the blue. You know what? Let's go for this bronzy shade here, and then we're gonna put the blue on the lower lash line. Ooh, nice. I was expecting it to be hardly pressed and really hard to play with. Wow, that is stunning. Just gonna go back in with that dark brown and just tap it onto the edges to blend it out. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzy shade. I didn't try the eye primer. I knew I was going to forget something. I'll try that in the I Heart Revolution um, collection. We do have a lip balm though, so let's try the lip balm. Oh, it smells divine. Okay, let that soak in. We have a face primer, but what I want to do is quickly clean up the eyes and then I'll come back and we'll do the face primer together and see how the foundation goes on. All right, so let's put this face primer on. It is more of like a, a creamy looking texture. So I wonder how it will do. Just kind of putting little dots on. It doesn't say if it's a hydrating one. It doesn't say if it's a pore filling primer, but it's quite a thick kind of primer. Hmm. My skin looks really smooth. It's not really tacky, which is fine. I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, there was no fallout from that eyeshadow whatsoever. Feels really moisturized, but it doesn't feel like there's an extra layer of like product on your skin. Okay, okay. Just gonna put some foundation on what is left of my F8.5. Right, let's see how this sponge performs. Okay, it worked really well, 
but the issue I'm having is I can't get right into my nose properly. I'm really like pushing to get the product to like stay there. Wow, I'm definitely not 8.5 anymore. I didn't tan that much in summer, but I must have because I feel like a ghost. Yeah, it's evened out my skin tone really nicely, but it's just not easy to get into like your nooks and crannies um but it is nice and soft it will blend out your foundation nicely but it's just harder on the inner corners of your nose this little thing is meant to be a bronzer i feel like it's a bit too ready tone feels more like a blusher to me oh i don't know let's try wish me luck It's definitely more ready tone. It's not a shade I would naturally gravitate towards. That is not a bronzer. Let me just tell you that. That is, oh, that is a blush, okay? Now, there is two blushes. We have this shade here, which is the lighter one. Shimmer in there. And then we have this one, which I wanna use here. I know these little things are very pigmented. Do you guys mind if I put a bit of bronzer over this? Because I don't feel bronzed. Okay, if I cheat a bit. It's now highlight, which I feel like is a little bit too dark for me, but it's fine. We'll make it work. We always do. Can you see that? Oh, it's not too bad. It's, it's a slight glimmer. It's coming out much lighter than I thought it would. And this was a fresh brush as well. I'm scared to put it on my nose though. A little bit too dark for my nose. I'm gonna go for ColourPop. <laughs> Eyebrow pencil, this is the shade right here. I've never used eyebrow pencils on my eyebrows, so uh, wish me luck. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in. I usually like to line the bottom, which... Oh, is it gonna be too dark? I know I'm lucky my eyebrows are dark, but I don't want them to look like, very not put together. I'm trying to do light strokes. Right, I'm just going to quickly go off camera and carry on with these. I'm not mad at it, okay? I did have to go in with my normal brush and just spread out the front part because it was going all crazy. But I'm not mad at it. Now, they have a brow highlight, which I was a bit intrigued by. Can you see it there? So let's see, oh, hmm. what I'm gonna do is put it down, get the brush to blend it out a bit, cause a bit harsh. The thing with pencils is, I feel like they're just a bit more harsh and harder to work with, but it's working. Not the shade I would have gone with for these brows, but it worked. It's not creamy creamy, but it's not too stiff. We've got two lipsticks, we've got a liner, so I'm definitely using the lip liner, but I don't know what lipstick to use. They're actually very, very similar. I'm thinking this one here, which is not got a name. <laughs> okay, let's do this lip combo, and then we've got a gloss to put over the top. It's a nice shade, but it was very rough to put on. That is it on my hand. I feel like it is true to colour, but that was really rough, really rough. I had to keep like moving it about luckily I had the lip balm under that's the lip shade um it's nice it's a very dry formula again I would need a brown liner with this more than a kind of pinkier peachier toned one but it's a nice nice color I feel like lipstick really matched that liner then we have four glosses to choose from we have two in these tubes now this one is more of like a a topper I'm not going to use it because I am going to give that away to my sister. This one's a nice berry tone. I'm keeping that one. Um, again, I feel like that's exactly the same as this, but this has just got more pinkier reflex in it. So again, I'm giving those two away. I'm not even going to open them. Let's try this. I'm really intrigued by it and I feel like this smell... Can't smell it. No, I can't smell anything. Gives it that little bit of shine, which I like. I like that. Just not too overdoing it. Didn't forget to use the brushes as well. <laughs> There's always stuff I forget to use. Use the spoolie and just like, here's a nice spoolie to be fair. Just make them look a bit more 
fluffy. For the palette, I'm just going to go in with this shade here on the inner corner and then this khaki shade under my lash line and we'll come back and we will be finished. One last product to test and this is the Obsession Fixing Spray. Alright, I'm scared of this because I've put a lot of mascara on. It's very thick spray. I don't know what that spray did, but drench me, to be honest. I think it made me feel a little bit more dewier. I don't feel like it's set. I feel like it's just drenched me. Um, but this is the finished look. I feel like that eyeshadow palette worked so well. The inner corner highlight is banging. I really like that. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette first. Really lovely uh, packaging. There's so many mattes in here to play with. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's literally there's 10 shimmers. Okay, that's a lot. And then there's six mattes. But I feel like you can get a lot out of this palette and it worked really well. I didn't have an issue with the palette whatsoever. So it's a nice little beginner friendly palette I feel like. I really like this primer. It's not something I would usually go for and it's really, really smooths out my skin. I would reach for this again and I love that it's a little tube so once I'm done with it, I can chuck it like it's, it's not something that I feel like is going on forever because in my collection I have a lot of primers. The lip balm is so nice. This is something I'm just gonna like chuck into my handbag because it's easy to put on, like just quickly pull it on. Don't have to faff about with your finger or a stick or anything. So you can just quickly do it and then throw it in your bag. So definitely gonna keep, keep a hold of that. Love the little brow gel. Again, I love that it's mini because I've got so many different brow products that I can just, once I've used this up, chuck it away and not think about it again. Then the gloss was really nice. Like it, it's not sticky or anything so I'm quite happy with that. Lipsticks are a little bit too matte for me. I like the colour of them but they're just a little bit too matte. Sponge worked really well but like I said it didn't go in the crease and I noticed that I didn't it didn't blend it out properly here either so it's not something I'll reach for all the time but it's something if it's there I'll probably grab it. Lip liner too harsh. <laughs> the brow pencil I'm not mad at it. I feel like my brows look nice and it doesn't look too like you've coloured them in or anything. So I'm not too mad at that. I'm just sad that I did have to go in with my brush and kind of make sure the front was okay. But it's not, it's not the end of the world. And then the highlight is a nice shade. Definitely for someone who likes a more pinker highlighter under their eyebrows. Not really something I would always reach for. Fixing spray is a little bit too wet for me, I'd say. Um... My skin does feel set, but that could just be the powder, to be honest. And then the palette is lovely. These little things are cute, but the bronzer is not a bronzer. It is a blush, people, okay? Don't use it as a bronzer. I don't know how it would be on really fair skin, but it's just not a bronzer on me. The blush is a lovely shade. I like that shade. And the highlight I can get away with on my cheeks, but not on my nose, because I felt like it was going to be a bit too dark. As soon as I hit it on my top cupid bow, I was like, mm, yeah, so it's not really something for me. And I'm just checking. I feel like that is everything. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I think the look is cute. I would rather be a bit more bronze, but, you know, hey-ho, you live and you learn. My favourite things would probably have to be the primer, the eyebrow um, gel... The palette is really nice. The lipsticks are okay. The lip balm is probably <laughs> my favourite thing out of the whole thing. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash it a few fuse up, a thumbs up, and let me know down in the, 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 the comments um, what your favourite products are. Bye. Mm -hmm.